and welcome to uh, Ask Bonnie. Bonnie's not around this week. I'm taking her place temporarily, as I like to do occasionally on the Webways channel. And what I'm doing is we're going to answer your questions about mimes this week. Uh, so if you're uh, soon to be a mime, pay attention because it's very, very important. And I'm going to have my friend Juliet answer your questions with miming action. So uh, after each question, pay attention because she'll answer with mimes. Miming. You know what I mean. All right, let's get into the first question. It's from Grant in Grand Rapid, Michigan. And he asks, what does it take to be a mime? Juliet, would you like to answer this? All right, well, from uh, her excellent miming, I'd have to try to translate here and say that she thinks you need a few props. You also need white face paint or any kind of face paint, actually, as long as it's uh, all one basic color. And uh, you need a black outfit or some sort of clowning type outfit and plenty and plenty of courage. Because you know what? Believe it or not, not everyone likes mimes. It's true. All right, second question is from Valerie in Victoria, and she asks, do mimes have to go through special training? All right, Juliet, go ahead and answer. All right, well, from uh, Juliet's answer, I'd have to say the translation of that is uh, yes. You do need special training, but you don't need to go to a school of mimes or a college of mimes. You could actually just apprentice with that uh, weird guy in the park that does miming. Just make sure your weird guy in the park isn't um, just some random freak. Make sure he's a mime, or else that's a whole other apprenticeship that uh, we won't go into right now. All right, last question is from Walter in Winnipeg, and he asks, what is a mime's biggest fear? Juliet? All right, well, from uh, Juliet's quivering, I'd have to say the translation of that answer was that her biggest fear in particular is being trapped in that invisible box forever. And I think you know what I mean if you've ever seen a mime do that invisible box trick. So, uh, Juliet, we hope that never happens to you or actually any mime at all. All right, so that's ATSOC for uh, this week. Go ahead and email me in your questions, thoughts. Uh, if you're a mime, I think it's okay to type. You just can't talk. So go ahead and email me, and I'll try to get some answers out to you. And uh, Bonnie will be back as well to uh, further educate people that I guess need educating. <laughs>